learnersreference.com the number one website to learn is you learn first let's look at some loan officer exam practice question also known as SAFE NMLS exam practice question we have a product with more than 1100 practice questions that are updated on a constant basis if the product is on sale with additional discount coupon code the link is in the description you can choose to purchase the product and prepare for your upcoming exam with more confidence and ease what does HMDA translate to? Option A, Home Mortgage Disparate Act. Option B, Housing Mortgage Disclosure Act. Option C, Home Mortgage Disclosure Act. Option D, Home Mortgage Disclosure Act. The correct answer is HMDA translates to Home Mortgage Disclosure Act. Which among the following prepaid item can be paid upfront into an escrow account? Option A, Homeowners Insurance. Option B, HOA Fees. Option C, Realtor Fee. Option D, Lender Fee. The correct answer is homeowner's insurance is the item that can be prepaid upfront into an escrow account. Which mortgage rule makes it illegal to charge upfront fees that protects the borrower from Ponzi schemes including foreclosure rescue? Option A, Tilla. Option B, Mars Rule. Option C, RESPA. Option D, GLBA. The correct answer is Mars Rule. In order to verify host of veterans benefits provided by federal, state, local government, honorable discharge is required. What is this form? Number. Option A. 1003. Option B. DD214. Option C. DD213. Option D. URLA. We know that 1003 is URLA, the Uniform Residential Loan Application. So, the correct answer is DD214. This is the certification of discharge from active duty of a veteran showing details on when the veteran has been discharged. What is the ethical way to ask an appraiser to consider different comparable? Option A. Can you provide me a different value? Option B. Can you offer me higher appraisal value? Option C. Can you offer me lower appraisal value? Option D. Can you consider this comp instead of that one? The ethical way to ask an appraiser is to consider a comp instead of the other one. Um, and the different comparables can be uh, made use of rather than asking them to provide a higher or lower appraisal value. A loan officer gets an application on Monday evening at 4.45 p.m. Within how many business days should they disclose the loan estimate? Option A, 2 business days. Option B, within 24 hours. Option C, 3 business days, including the day of application. Option D, 3 business days, from the day of application. The correct answer is, they have 3 business days, from the day of application. A borrower owns all his investments in index funds that he has been maintaining for the past few years and plans on not selling it in near future. For underwriter to believe this and consider this as a valid source of income, how long should the borrower be maintaining this investment? Option A minimum 2 years, Option B minimum 3 years, Option C minimum 5 years, Option D minimum 6 years. The correct answer is minimum 2 years. A borrower earns a he earns a base salary of $30 an hour. He works on a 40-hour typical work week with 1 hour paid lunchtime daily. What is his bi-weekly income? Option A, $2,300. Option B, $2,400. Option C, $2,600. Option D, $3,000. It is to be noted that we have to um, multiply 40 hours into... Um, you know, 7 into 30 and it is a bi-weekly divided by 26. The value is uh, 2400. In mortgage world, what does PITI translate to? Option A, property taxes, interest, taxes, insurance. Option B, principal, interest, taxes, investment. Option C, principal, interest, taxes, insurance. Option D, property taxes, interest, taxes, investment. PITI stands for Principal Interest Taxes Insurance. A borrower gets a gift from her parents in the form of cash with no intention of repayment. Can this be put towards FHA loan down payment as per FHA single family home loan, 
होम लोन रूल बुक एच यू डी फोर थाउजेंड डॉट वन ऑप्शन ए ये गिफ्ट फंड कैन बी यूज टूवर्ड्स डाउन पेमेंट ऑप्शन बी फॉर एफ एच ए सोर्स ऑफ इनकम शुड बी अर्निंग्स फ्रॉम द बोरायर ओनली ऑप्शन सी सोर्स ऑफ डाउन पेमेंट फॉर एफ एच ए लोन शुड बी फ्रॉम बोरायर और स्पाउस ओनली इन दिस वी आर सेइंग दैट द बोरायर गेट्स द गिफ्ट फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स ऑप्शन डी सोर्स ऑफ इनकम शुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग फंड्स रिटर्न्ड इन द बैंक अकाउंट फॉर 5 इयर्स बाय द बोरायर ओनली द करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट दिस गिफ्ट कैन बी यूज्ड एज अ डाउन पेमेंट The CFBB issues updated version of the charm booklet needed for arm loans as a slender version. How many pages are available in the latest charm booklet? Option A, 13 pages. Option B, 30 pages. Option C, 12 pages. Option D, 11 pages. The correct answer is 13 pages. Which among the following loan has specific criteria? While specifying the borrower name in the left side of the application and co-borrower name in the right side of the application. Option A fixed loan option B floating loan option C arm loan option D relocation loan it is to be noted that this is specific in case of a relocation loan what is the mortgage form used for loan origination also referred to as option A 4503 option B 1003 option C 1004 option D 1005 we have seen that the mortgage loan application form also known as uniform residential loan application URLA is 1003 What happens to the earnest fund deposit at the time of closing? Option A: This amount gets forfeited. Option B: The amount is credited back to the buyer at closing as a settlement fee credit. Option C: The amount is offered to the buyer by seller to back out. Option D: The amount is offered. Excuse me. The amount is offered by seller to the buyer to not file. legal case in the future it is to be noted that the earnest deposit at the time of closing is credited back to the buyer at closing as a settlement fee credit which federal law allows the collection of credit report fees from borrowers prior to issuing the loan estimate to the borrowers option a tila option b respa option c trid option d glba the correct answer is trid Which loan program supports 100% financing in farm areas? Option A FHA loan, option B USDA loan, option C fixed loan, option D hybrid loan. The correct answer is USDA loan. While refinancing a home, 3 days right of recession is available. Does this include weekends, Saturday and Sunday as well? Option A yes. 3 days including Saturday and Sunday are included. Option B federal holidays included. Option C Saturday and Sunday included. Federal holidays excluded. Option D only Saturday is included. Sunday and federal holidays are excluded. The correct answer is only Saturday is included. Sunday and federal holidays are excluded. The person relocates from one state to another, and during the loan processing, who should appear in the borrower name section on the left side, and who is co-borrower section on the right side? We have seen that this is specific in case of a relocation loan. Let us see who needs to be the borrower and who is the co-borrower. Option A: the person whose job happens to relocate them is the borrower, and other is co-borrower. Option B: nothing specific like that. Option C the person who has established residency in the past is the borrower and the other is the co-borrower. Option D the person with the highest credit score is the borrower and the other is the co-borrower. It is to be noted that the person whose job happens to relocate them is the borrower and the other person is the co-borrower and this specific need to be correctly mentioned in the loan application in case of a relocation loan. Thank you very much for watching the video. We have NMLS practice questions on sale with the additional discount code. I have given the link in the description. If you have any questions, post in the comment section. Have a good day. Bye.